Hi there! If you're here, I'm going to assume that you are at least interested in taking the exam for the Certified Six Sigma Black Belt with ASQ, or perhaps you have already signed up for it. I'm here just to give you some tips on how I prepare for the examination. If you don't know me, I'm Ramon, I have almost 20 years of experience in continuous improvement, both as a practitioner and as an instructor. I have worked in various industries throughout my career. I am absolutely passionate about Lean Six Sigma. I have a massive business administration, and I am, of course, a certified Six Sigma Black Belt. Just as a disclaimer, I am a proud ASQ senior member. However, I am not at all associated with product sales from ASQ or any other organization mentioned here. I'm purely doing this to share my knowledge and give you some tips on how I prepare for the exam. This is as of April 2020. You can check on ASQ's website about the work experience and all of the other requirements for you to actually sit for the exam. The exam itself, assuming that you are going to take the computer delivered, is a one part, one sitting, 165 question exam. It is offered in English only. And of this 165 questions, 150 are scored and there are 15 that are unscored. Total time in terms of your appointments, four and a half hours, being four hours and 18 minutes for the exam itself. The reference books that I used. First and foremost, the Certified Six Sigma Black Belt Handbook from ASQ. This is a reference book that follows the body of knowledge perfectly to the teeth. It is, however, a reference book. It's not going to teach you all of the very details of all the concepts. You will probably need to learn some of them, especially on the analytical side of things, from other resources. However, this is a one-stop shop in terms of the body of knowledge. With this book, if you know the basic knowledge behind all the concepts and the methodologies, it, this book will serve you very well in terms of a reference. I also used the Certified Six Sigma Black Belt Primer from the Quality Council of Indiana, an excellent resource, a thick binder, full of things and uh, questions at the end of its section, very well explained, uh, again, just a great resource to prepare for this exam. Jerome's Quality Handbook, 5th edition, I know there are newer editions. However, this is the one that I used, and I used extensively on the quality management things, the history, and also I think it was my primary source to learn and practice with DOE. I also used the Quality Toolbox by Nancy Taiki, as well as Durant's Quality Planning and Analysis for Enterprise Quality, a book that he wrote, one of the books that he wrote with another couple of authors. In terms of stats books, this one here is my favorite one, written by Friedman, Pisani and Perv. It's called Statistics. This is the fourth edition. I'm not sure if there's a newer one. I also use the Statistical Quality Methods, the desk reference, uh, written by Mark Crosley. And this dictionary of statistics from Oxford was also a great reference for me to take with me into the exam room. I actually opened this dictionary of statistics a couple of times. There are a couple of questions in the exam that I just material that I never came across and the other resources that I had. So I ended up actually using this little dictionary of statistics. It served me very well. I still have it. I use it a lot. I really enjoy it. I also took a course, like a classroom course, with the Schulich School of Business. This is from the York University in Toronto, Canada. So if you have a local college or local university offering anything between 10, perhaps uh, 15 to 20 days course uh, that covers the entire body of knowledge, I would highly recommend that you take those classes or you can also sign up for online classes that also cover the body of knowledge. It's important that you understand what the, not of, the body of knowledge of the examination is and that the course that you take, either online or in classroom, actually covers that body of knowledge well. The other thing that I did that was very valuable, 
I purchased the Certified Six Sigma Black Belt Question Bank from ASQ. These are retired questions, I believe, that ASQ will send you a link to an online platform and you can practice the exam itself, the, the four and a half or four, a little over four hour length exam with past questions. It also trains you for the endurance, just for the, the, the long time sitting and going through a lot of concepts and trying to answer everything. So this was very valuable. I really enjoyed it. I practiced a few times with the 150 questions that I had in the question bank. And again, I think it was a great investment overall. Online resources. These are more on the stats side of things. Can Academy, fantastic resource online. The Annenberg Learner Institute. RPM Academy for both stats and the lean portion and the other uh, soft skills content of the body of knowledge. I also use the Stat Stuff uh, by Matt Hansen. It's statstuff.com for lean and the other concepts more again on the soft skills. Game Academy, Mind Tools, Lean Production, Lean Enterprise Institute. So lots of different resources. These were the ones that I liked the most, the ones that I used the most. And that's it. You can do it. Study for it. Prepare for it. The ASQ Six Sigma Black Belt certification is a well-respected credential in the field of Lean Six Sigma, in the field of continuous improvement. Study hard and stay the course. It is worth at the end of the day. Look for online study groups and forums, LinkedIn, Facebook. There are a lot of people out there trying to study or at least uh, practice with each other. So it's, it's worth having a look at those as well. Prepare, prepare, prepare. The only reason why I think I was successful in my first attempt was simply because I prepared well. Well, I wish you luck. And if you wanted to connect on LinkedIn and if you have any other questions, if you want to send some comments, let's connect and I'll be there to answer any other questions that you may have. Good luck to you and thanks for watching.